Well, hi, once again, you're back here uh, with old Barry, and since a lot of people aren't working, why don't you just uh, come on out to the porch with me and hang out for a bit while I do a little bit of talking and see if anything's making sense. Um, in prior videos and on uh, in many past posts, I've always said uh, one thing I've tried to make clear, that uh, depressions, which we're heading into, do not kill wealth, they transfer wealth. It's really important to understand that. Of course, the percentages... Uh, are, are in you know the the two to three percentage range that it transfers to, but it, it's it's most piece, people just make the wrong decisions because they follow the wrong information. But that's that's a personal choice, so that's why I don't go there. But um, I did want to uh, address. I've had uh, a, a lot of folks kind of tell me like, "Wow, Barry, you know." Uh, I got to know you and you've been telling me things and a lot of it sure makes sense and that's all good and but what doesn't make sense is when I see some of your responses to someone else it's almost exactly opposite of what you told me to do and while I agree it is and I don't think any two are the same when I get to know somebody on a personal level but that is because as I try to explain everything Everything we, we do in this universe is on a hertz, a wave, or a frequency. Okay, so that includes age. So I'll, I'll return that statement. And uh, what I'm going to do is quickly ask them a quick question. Well, okay, do you not see why? And then I can, you know, they know I'm setting them up because they know old, old Barry likes to do that, to verbal checkmate quite a bit. But in a, in a good way, to help, always to help. But the thing is, they'll go no. And I'll say, okay, look at the age difference. See, they're over 70. You're 43. See, so their cycle, if I'm talking to somebody like what the mentors, together we figured this, if I'm talking to somebody 70 or older, I would have said you played it right by doing your 401, your Social Security, or uh, CPP, or old age pension if you're from my neck of the woods. And okay, but that frequency is only so wide. There's another frequency, let's say, I believe, uh, this is old research, but let's say, I believe the mentors came up, we came up with, um, I think it was around 65 years old, okay? Anything younger than 65, because of when they're expecting Social Security in the States and, and what have you, to be uh, basically bankrupt, uh, then you see that would advise a different type of scenario. If you're a person in your 50s, that's going to, you're on a different frequency than somebody who's over 70. So I hope that explains why. It's not like it's a one size fits all. I know that's what um, mainstreams try to get people to look at it that way. You're either this or you're that. You're either up or you're down. There's, there's no neutrality and there's no difference of opinion other than the options that they want to throw at you. And that's, that's a big mistake as far as all four of us think. However, if you look at the transmission that I keep under, you know, trying to explain how all the gears of all the countries, of all the nations are meshed, okay? I'm going to provide a few examples. Um, we actually tied a record, and I don't mean that, I don't want to mean it like goody, go no, it's just to provide you information that why we at the Mentors always say, if you peel the onion and do the research, there's always answers, therefore there's always opportunities, even now. Um, the thing is, what we're doing is with many past people in countries, now think about it, okay, China and Hong Kong have this tremendous friction going on right about now, and we have a lot of subscribers out that way. Actually, even one of the mentors is from out that way. Well, we use that to our advantage, because those people want out of their own currency desperately right now, and uh, they're putting restrictions on U.S. cash, what you're allowed to change, how much of it. A lot of this news isn't because you don't follow the transmission. You follow one gear, what you're being told to follow. You don't investigate on your own. Anyway, continuing on, these people now are trying to reallocate 
So they're buying real estate. They don't have intentions of moving here. They, they're not buying houses. They don't want anything that has a maintenance tag on it. They want to export cash. Then they want to hold it. Then they want to be able to resell it at a point knowing that it will be in U.S. dollars or will be able to be changed into any currency that they want, which is not a problem in the DR. See, in China now that is a problem, but you wouldn't know that. This is why when we did tremendously well in southwest Florida during the crunch, because we were making friends with asset managers at 2000, 201, 202, because we saw wages were not keeping up anything near the appreciation of real estate okay that's an intersection that's a t-bone crash if there ever was five years four years later well look at what happened in 05 and 06 a lot of those people that didn't see that curve went working and i'm not saying anything's wrong with it but to sublet they they had to work home depot work at lowe's work it here for okay but yet others that saw the curve and understood the trend soared soared into their real estate careers. So it's the same thing now, and I'm just saying it to help the small uh, audience that does pay attention to what we're saying. So yes, we've actually, uh, we tied a, a present record right now, but none of these people have any intention of coming or moving here. Okay, they're reallocating and getting out of one currency to be into another of their choice in the future. So you have to follow the trends, okay? And, and, and I hope that that, that helps, um, helps my audience. I want to elaborate on that a little bit further because the trends. Markets don't care if they're legal or illegal. And I'm not saying being a legal market, okay? What I am saying is, the price of cocoa, if there's a weather issue that crashes the cocoa market in Colombia, or there happens to be something else that wherever they're crashing that, okay, well, you crash the cocoa market in Colombia, you've raised the price of cocaine in New York, okay? Everything is connected. A volcano erupts in one country, has total effects on the other. Some people like to call it the butterfly effect. Well, okay, be it as you may. I just like to keep it simple and say all the gears are mesh. This is what I'm trying to get across to my subscribers. You are not doomed and gloomed. And we are going to cover some reports on not suggestions for you because, gosh, folks, I don't know most of you people that are watching us, so everybody's circumstances will be different. However, there are some basic rules that will be universal, because universal laws are not uh, up to man's domain. So we'll touch on those a little bit. Uh, we'll also touch, uh, we've got a little bit more information on where we see things over the next five years now. We're getting a few answers where we're, we're comfortable with what we're going to be doing a little bit more. Uh, I want to also let you know today's environment, those who watch us are somewhat enlightened, if not shocked. <laughs> but uh, look, time tells our story, so we don't prove it. Time does. So uh, we just go with that. But uh, you have to understand this current environment around the world, this is a shift of power. This is a political coup. Please understand this. If you're still anything at all stuck on this virus being the issue of what you're really seeing, you, I just really try to pick up the speed as best you can. Um, I mean, I, I'm not saying to change anything. I have no choice. But I'm just saying you're dead wrong. And, and, and that's all there is to that. Uh, <sighs> Look, people, there's an astronomical amount of frequencies, hertz, and waves all simultaneously. They're all meshed. This is why what's right for someone who's 70, like I explained, is not necessarily right for someone who's 43. This is all common sense, but we lose track of it when we're glued uh, into the news media, when we're glued into fear. Um, I mean, a lot of people now, I mean, they're stuck. They feel abandoned. There's a lot of people now that see darkness in their future. Okay, There's a lot of people now that are worried about 
violence and the various predators that go along with violence that predate on the weak. What have I just described to you? Go back to the previous few videos. I've just described part and parcel perfectly the four primordial fears. This is what's being used against you. Um, I mean, the, you've been abandoned by your elected. I know a lot of people are writing me about that. Okay, the, the chaos, it's in various areas, predominantly for now in the larger, more densely populated cities, but it is on the rise. The uh, chaos, look at, uh, because families are home, uh, people are getting nervous about paychecks not coming in, various responsibilities. It's only understandable. They're afraid. They're snapping. They're with the children 24-7 where they're not. They're used to being out in the work field. These are major changes. People, slow down. Adapt to them. This is your family. Um, we're seeing the darkness. Look, a lot of people are you know, telling me, sure, that's fine for you, but what about everyone or others that are stuck? No one's stuck. You choose to be stuck. Most what you want is one or two footsteps on the other side of your fear, but I understand that wall of fear is a tall wall. I've been there. I mean, this, this, this change of mindset, whether you like it or not, is your personal choice, but to see things from an opportunity aspect, certainly not Pollyanna, from a realist uh, you know, not from a point of fear. After doing the research, I understand and I know everybody watching me has the same opportunities. And um, please keep that in the back of your mind. Um, above all, I want to kind of go out with saying nothing what I'm saying here are, is my opinion or my personal rules. These are universal laws. Okay, it's how the universe functions. It has nothing to do with my opinion. It has nothing. It wouldn't even matter if humanity didn't even walk on the planet. These laws would still be intact. Therefore, the term uh, that I learned from Mr. Passio is called immutable. These cannot be changed by man. Okay, and I want to leave you with. Another, you know, uh, if, if it's not making sense, or all of it isn't, again, one of the other universal laws is the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Okay, It functions whether it makes sense to you or not. Gravity works whether you believe in it or not. If you walk off a cliff or fall off a bridge, you may not believe in gravity, but it's irrelevant. It, you are living within its laws. So keep that in the back of your mind, guys. Take care for now. I'm going to do one more video about the abundance of food uh, and uh, why some nations are going to flourish a little better than others. And then uh, we'll start discussing uh, what the mentors are coming and what will probably be leaning towards uh, with our own families, those of us that can do it, okay? So thanks for all your support. Keep all the bits of information coming in. Keep your mind opened. Above all, do not be fearful. Keep your mind opened. And uh, you'll find that, yeah, at the end of the tunnel, well, the tunnel's the illusion. The light at the end was always there, okay? So look forward to that. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.